Hi Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. So I'm going to start off with the astrology for the week. At this moment in time, we have double air energy. We have the air sign energy of Libra with the sun in Libra. People want things to be equal, fair, balanced, justice to be served, equal partnerships, allies, friends. Um, this is aligning with the North Node and the Moon in Gemini. So there is very passionate discussions and also emotional connections with people who are close to you with the moon in Gemini. And Gemini is also about duality. It's the two sides of the self. It can also be friends, neighbors, communication, IT, information technology, social media, because this is then connected up to Saturn retrograde in Aquarius. Lessons learned from the past coming back around again to be relearned back down to Mars and Libra. People really want justice served right now. Mars rules over Aries, the warrior house of the warrior, um, the soldier, you know, and people really want justice. They want allies and partnerships. They want things to go well. And um, there's a lot of healing that has to go on here with Chiron and Aries healing the wounds of the self in opposition to a need to partner with people. So it's like kind of like the energy of just get over it. If something happened, fine, you have to partner with someone and form an alliance. You have to somehow be able to move forward. Now, um, this energy continues through the week. We have a grand trine of the air sign energies. The moon continues in Gemini. So the moon in Gemini is also variety. It has to do with multivariate things, all kinds of variables connected to emotions and feelings. It's not just one thing. There's many, many things going on. And um, we do have Jupiter and Aquarius, an expansion of knowledge about communication could be social media or IT connecting into Mercury and Libra. People are communicating and talking. Um, there could be changes going on as well. We have these squares. So we're by the 28th, we're gonna have square offs between the moon in Cancer squared to the sun in Libra. So there's something about safety, security, privacy being conflicted with a need for justice, fairness, and balance. Um, we also have reputation squaring off with uh, identity issues or self-esteem issues. So that could be Wednesday. Um, let's see, the 29th is going to be um, around, uh, I'm sorry, I think this is Wednesday. And then we have the 30th. We have a T square between fame and fortune and reputation over to Chiron, self esteem, self worth, the wounded self over to a need for um, partnering, balance, and really going after justice, fairness, balance, equality, even if this ruins a reputation or if this is something about a destruction of um someone's reputation basically it's almost like if you've done something you have to just sort of the wounded self you just sort of have to swallow your pride in some way and moving into october 1st this t-square is still here but the moon will be in leo so fiery leo but is um a fixed sign energy it's very purposeful it's not erratic and the moon is connected to the sun in Libra. So there's a lot of thought going into um, bravery or strategies happening. It's not erratic at all. For Aries, Mars staying here in Libra is very committed to partnerships, very committed to justice, equality, fairness, even if it conflicts with something that is personal about yourself. Okay, so I'm going to pull this down. 
Okay, and I'm just going to start on your tarot cards for the week ahead. So when you think of air signs too, you think of talking, writing, communicating, uh, social media, the news, uh, telephones, email, texting. And that's the main dominant energy this week is air energy. So message for Aries, what do they need to see? Third chakra, which is joy, happiness. Things that put a smile on your face and make you happy. There could be a third chakra blockage. And perhaps you need to focus on things that bring you joy and happiness. You could wear yellow or citrine, the um, crystal citrine. Wow, and we also have the blue of the fifth chakra. Needing to speak your truth. There could be a very important message here. So here is some citrine. And I don't have any blue, but um, we have joy. So we have joyful energy coming in. Okay. So the week ahead for Aries, first house energy ruled by Mars and Mars is in Libra. So just keep that in mind. Libra can be when you have a decision to make and you go back and forth in your mind many times like you go back and forth and back and forth because you're trying to make a fair decision an equal decision you want to be fair okay libra is lady justice as well so it could be anything to do with the courts legal matters laws okay so please show us the messages here for aries four of coin earth energy holding back or holding on holding on tightly not sharing maybe staying home saving money perhaps wow we have a really strong energy of the emperor power authority um something here holding on tightly saving and you're very strong underlying energy is um a king of wands fire more fire king a leader taking action very bold energy recent past we have five of wands um something about conflict you know it's inner struggle okay coming into your awareness earth energy queen taurus capricorn virgo it can be money wealth and abundance as well there's the energy here of wanting to depart um, not wanting to invest your emotions into something anymore. It may have been a conflict or a power struggle you were having with someone. Your energy is chariot. You're moving ahead very fast. You're very determined. You are... You have a lot of willpower and you're not looking back at the past. You are focused on your future and what's ahead of you. Okay, what's around temperance? Emotional equilibrium, Sagittarian energy. Patience. There could be a Sagittarius that you're dealing with. You're wanting hierophant, order, tradition, um, ethics. So to me, it feels like order, like you want orderly energy because we have some kind of disorder over here. And then we have wanting to, your emotions don't want to invest in something that isn't making you happy. Okay. 
Final outcome is the Three of Water. This is a celebration, celebrating a harvest. Good times, happiness, raising a glass, toasting. So if somebody just decides to walk away, it could be you walking away because it shows you as chariot. You just want to move forward. You don't have time to spend arguing or something. Um, what is the Three of Cups here? Okay, what is the Three of Cups? What is the Three of Cups for Aries? What do they need to see? The Ten of Wands. Lots of responsibility. It could be something that is weighing heavily upon you about other people. Um, what is this Ten of Wands? Six of Coin. You feel like you want to be generous. I feel like... You feel like you have to provide for others. That's what I feel like. I feel like you feel a sense of, I have to take care of people or something like that. But there's some kind of a uh, desire to depart. Um, so what is this five of wands? Why do we have this here for Aries? Okay, Seven of Swords. There was someone who was not being honest. They weren't being honest. They were hiding information or, you know, not sharing something. What is Four of Coin? Okay, the Lovers. There's a union, a bond... Somebody might be holding on tightly to a relationship. But then we show this Eight of Cups. Somebody departs. What is the Eight of Cups? Strength card. Could be Leo. Um, I think it takes a lot of inner strength to walk away. It could be like you're walking away from an argument. I was even thinking that earlier. Like it takes two to tango. And if, there, if one person doesn't tango, then there's no tango. It's like you leave. You walk away. Um, you know. And because it's showing like a struggle, but you're not necessarily involved in this struggle. There's a struggle... It could be competitive. Somebody's competitive with you. Um, what is the outcome here with the Three of Cups and the Six of Coin, Ten of Wands? What is this outcome for Aries? Okay, the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Cups. Something changes and becomes the way you were hoping it would be or it, it changes for the better. There's no longer like something here about competitive energy um underlying energy is the king of fire somebody is taking action you may have been upset about something where there was a conflict with a person what is queen of coin we have the fool there could be a fresh start a new beginning with this person burdens are lifted what is Ten of Cups? So you're in the driver's seat, basically. Okay, Ten of Cups is Queen of Air. Libra, equality, fairness, justice being served. Somebody's speaking their truth. They see a situation clearly for what it is. What is Chariot? Okay, the chariot moving on moving ahead there is a page of air it could be someone who is watching you observing 
Um, you could be watching or observing someone. What is temperance? Okay. Somebody is going through a reckoning or a judgment day. They're going through a day of judgment. And temperance can be, they're trying to temper their own emotions. Tower was on the bottom. So, king of air, justice, legal matters, air sign energy, something that's final. And we have behind it a nine of cups, a wish coming true. But, let's see. So the our final outcome was a three of cups. There's some kind of reunion or a celebration. There's a decision being made. There's a six of coin, a reward. What is chariot? What is chariot? Okay, the death card. You're moving on. You're, you get the truth and so you decide to move on. Something changes for you, so you move forward. Okay, what is the ten of cups? You're getting a Ten of Water, which is Fulfillment. Page of Cups, okay. Water Sign, Messenger, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And what is Temperance? Three of Coin. Working together, collaborating, teamwork. And we have Empress here. Could be um, a female figure in your life. And... What do we have for the King of Wands underlying? There is a Two of Cups, so there's a partnership, harmony, um, mutual feelings. What is the Emperor here? Okay, the Moon. So something feels uncertain because somebody is holding back. They're refusing to share. They could be ghosting you. What is the Seven of Swords? What is the Seven of Swords? What is the Seven of Swords? Seven of Pentacles. They're avoiding you possibly because they are trying to plan a strategy. Maybe they don't have money. What is the Strength card? Incoming energy was Eight of Cups. What is the Eight of Cups? Somebody walks away. Okay, Nine of Cups. Again, there's something here about wish fulfillment. Somebody walks away. And it's like, it's better for some reason. Um, the Chariot, the Death, and the Ace of Swords. Three of Cups, Reunion. Now... You could find out, um, so your energy is chariot. You're very driven. You're moving forward. There could be a change, but you get some really good news. Um, coming into your awareness is an earth sign and the fool. Four of coin. That could be the person that is either holding back or closed off. But the future energy shows somebody moves on and this is good news for you. What is the nine of cups? The strength again. And it came out with a ten of pentacles. Money, wealth, and abundance. So it could be you walking away from some kind of like struggle or legal matter. Star card underlying. This could be something you've been waiting for. Okay, the outcome is good. There's a reunion. There's a Libra energy. There's a six of coin. What is the outcome here with the three of cups? Why is it here? The world card, the completion of the cycle. Okay, so something closes out. Ace of rods. And the justice. Okay, again, it's like justice being served. Completions or closure. You have to be very determined to keep going, though. So there could be like a bump in the road. Your environment has temperance, patience. Someone could be feeling um, very stressed out. Ten of Swords and Five of Pentacles. Okay, let me grab one more Oracle card. 
So this reading looks good. So the crossing energy is that there's an authority figure. And I feel like it's you. You're you're very strong. You're taking the lead. And someone is like holding back, like trying not to help. We have the community. They, there could be a lot of support from the community, people around you. Anything else for Aries? First chakra, Archangel Michael. So we have three archangels popping up. We have protection, speaking your truth, and joy. Wow. Underneath the deck, we have the healer of the ages, which is supposed to be Jesus, which is a supernatural blessing beyond the 3D. This is something supernatural um, a very big blessing patience okay patience is here again so it's something about waiting there is this jesus energy coming in so you have a blessing but your area your aries energy here is chariot you're very determined the death is a change, but the Ace of Swords is something new, new truth, new ideas, and you keep going forward. So I'm going to leave this here. Thank you for tuning into my channel, and take care.